I knew going in that the new film Till was going to be emotional and probably maddening, and I was right. Now, the story of Emmett Till is powerful, important, and relevant for today, so let's dive into it. This is the true story of Mamie Till Mobley's relentless pursuit of justice for her 14-year-old son, Emmett Till, who, in 1955, was lynched while visiting his cousins in Mississippi. Danielle Deadweiler stars as Mamie, Emmett's mom, and she is just riveting to watch. Her performance is raw and it's devastating, where we can feel the emotion that's coursing through her. Deadweiler showcases strength through sadness. Now, sometimes it's in a quivering lip, but mainly it's through her piercing eyes. We can see the rage, hurt, distrust, and anger at what happens to Emmett, but there are other times, and mainly earlier in the story, when we get to see joy and happiness, and these are when she's interacting with Emmett. Jalen Hall plays Emmett, and there is so much charisma oozing from him that he just makes the character instantly adorable and lovable. Now, even though we don't see a ton of Emmett in the film, what we do see allows us to experience his cheerfulness and gleeful outlook on life. And this makes the contrast to the racism that he experiences all the more stark. This is a beautifully shot film with a lot of lingering imagery that allows us to pause and sit with a moment or an emotion. And I like that the story doesn't try to rush us off to the next scene when there's something powerful that's being experienced. Is there discomfort? Well, yeah, absolutely. And there are also moments that enraged me at the injustice. But there are also sadly sweet times that allow us to connect with a character and then truly take in what they're feeling. And I appreciate the patience that it takes to let the audience take part in this way. When it came to the soundtrack and score, I was a little surprised at times, especially at the beginning of the movie, where there would be a more happy or maybe upbeat melody playing, even though it was obvious that the scenes that were coming were anything but happy. And this confused my senses at first, which I don't think is necessarily a bad thing, but I did notice the seemingly contradictory tones. There are also some great uses of musical transitions where we'll be watching a happy scene with happy music, and then as we are drawn into a character's eyes, the music shifts into something sinister and sad, which is then accentuated by this fear or a sadness that's coming from the character. And these were very effective in foreshadowing, even though the story and the outcomes aren't mysteries. And while this movie uses the lynching and murder of Emmett as its story base, the greater message comes from watching Mamie as she goes from a grieving mother to a powerful justice seeker. We watch her meetings and her interactions with the NAACP in Chicago, as well as influential leaders in Mississippi, and these help to shed light on all the work that was being done to fulfill the rights that were promised to black people in the Constitution and the amendments. There is an extremely intense scene where Mamie testifies in the trial against the two white men who kidnapped, beat, mutilated, and killed Emmett. Now, the way the camera locked down on Deadweiler, even when others were speaking to her, I mean, it allowed us to see the quality of her acting. She delivers her lines with reserved vehemence, and I just couldn't take my eyes off of her. I mean, when she's nominated for an award, I think this could be the scene that they used to highlight her. But then there are also so many other scenes that showcase her talent. One in particular is a scene that is just gutting and devastating. Now, Mamie's having a conversation with her uncle, and what ensues is almost overwhelming. The conviction and intensity of their exchange are awesome and heartbreaking simultaneously. And it's also a moment that can give us pause to really just think about what's being said and how the truth of the words is hard to hear, but it's still true. I mean, it's a powerless feeling that's conveyed, and I think both actors execute it flawlessly. There are some supporting performances in this by Frankie Faison, Whoopi Goldberg, Sean Patrick Thomas, and Haley Bennett. Now, Bennett has the tough role of playing Carolyn Bryant, the white woman who lied and had Emmett lynched. Bennett doesn't have a large role on screen, but every time she was on it, it made my stomach turn, knowing the truth of her and her lies. Now, I've said how there are a lot of patient scenes in this that allow us to experience the emotions that are coming at us. And as a result, this is a longer movie at two hours and 10 minutes. But despite the slower storytelling in spots, the pacing of this I thought was perfect. The story didn't linger when it didn't need to, and it would skip portions of actions or conversations that we already understood the context for. So it's not talking down to us, but it allows us to infer what's being transpired just based on all of the context clues. And it's easy to follow. I mean, the emotions are complex, but the movie itself is very straightforward. I think this is such an important story that needs to be known and seen. Maybe Till shocked the world by showing her battered and beaten son's body to the world after he was murdered. And then she stood up against two white men in court with an all-white jury, knowing she'd never see justice done in that courtroom, not to the two murderers or the lying accuser. So overall, Till is a powerful account, illustrating a mother's determination to gain justice against men who would never be held accountable. 
Danielle Deadweiler is a powerhouse, displaying both tenderness and ferocity. And the strength of this movie comes not only from the performances, but also in the patience of the storytelling, allowing the audience to be enveloped in the emotion and forced to confront it before moving on in the narrative. While the content is extremely heavy, and you may even get an ugly cry going, the experience is well worth it, enhanced by beautiful visuals and engrossing acting. There's no sex or nudity, some profanity, and some descriptions of terrible violence, as well as the aftermath of Emmett's murder. I give Till 5 out of 5 couches. Are there any powerful true story accounts that you can recommend? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this review, please give it a like. Also, don't forget to share and subscribe. I'm Chris. This is Movies and Munchies. Thanks for couching with me.